first met you. Hmm. That you were a mystery I was never going to solve. Even now, after spending all this time with you, I'm, I'm still amazed at the depths of your strength, your heart, and your hotness. You're not so bad yourself, Castle. if you got something to say, just please say it. Make it everyone associated with this case is dead. Everyone. First your mom and her colleagues, then Ragland, then McAllister. You know they're coming for you next. Captain Montgomery's got a protective detail on me. Wasn't that hard to spot? That's not going to be enough to stop Lockwood. You know that. Think about what they're up against. Professional killers? We're working with you for three years, you know me. I'm the guy who says we can move that rubber tree plant, but you know what, Beckett, I don't think we're gonna witness. Castle, they killed my mother. What do you want me to do here? Walk away. They're gonna kill you, Kate. And if you don't care about that, at least think about how that's gonna affect the people that love you. You really wanna put your dad through that. And what about Josh? And what about you, Rick? Well, of course, I don't want anything to happen to you. I'm your partner. I'm your friend. Is that what we are? Oh, you know what? I don't know what we are. We kiss, and then we never talk about it. We nearly die frozen in each other's arms, but we never talk about it. So, no, I got no clue what we are. I know I don't want to see you throw your life away. Yeah, well, last time I checked, it was my life, not your personal jungle gym. And for the past three years, I have been running around with the school's funniest kid, and it's not enough. You know what? This isn't about your mother's case anymore. This is about you needing a place to hide. Because you've been chasing this thing so long, you're afraid to find out who you are without it. You don't know me, Castle. You think you do, but you don't. I know you crawled inside your mother's murder and didn't come out. I know you hide there. Same way you hide in these nowhere relationships with men you don't love. You could be happy, Kate. You deserve to be happy. But you're afraid. You know what we are, Castle? We are over. Now get out. Because of everything we've been through together. Four years, I've been right here. Four years just waiting for you to open your eyes to see that I'm right here. And I'm more than a partner. Every morning, I bring you a cup of coffee just so I can see a smile on your face because I think you are the most remarkable, maddening, challenging, frustrating person I've ever met. And I love you, Kate, and if that means anything to you, if you care about me at all, just don't. If I care about you, Castle, you cut a deal for my life like I was some kind of a child. My life. Mine. You don't get to decide. You keep going with this, they're gonna decide. They're gonna come for you, Kate. 
Let them come. They sent Coonan, and he is dead. They sent Lockwood, and he is dead. And I am still here, Castle, and I am ready. Ready for what? To die for your cause? This isn't a murder investigation anymore, Kate. They've turned it into a war. If they want a war, then I will bring them a war straight to their doorsteps. Well, I guess there's just nothing I can say, is there? Okay, um... Yeah, you're right, Kate. It's your life. You can throw it away if you want, but I'm not gonna stick around and watch you. So this is, uh... Over. I'm done. Becca, what do you want? You. Did you have coffee? So it wasn't a dream. No, you definitely <laughs> weren't dreaming. No, you were right. I had no idea. So you liked it? Yeah. Even the part where... Especially I was... that part, I love that. Good. Me too. So, you're on, on board with this, right? It's not some, oh, I quit my job, I almost died, I'm in crisis thing. Uh, no, not for me. Okay, me neither. Okay. Good. Good. But I, um, I did just quit my job. And I do have the day off. I, I do, too. Oh, really? Yes. So what would you, um, like to do today? Um... I don't know, we could read. We could watch TV. Yeah, we could get something to eat. We could do that, yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> oh god. You both deserve more. I agree. So whatever happens, whatever you decide, Catherine Houghton Beckett. Will you marry me? Catherine Houghton Beckett. Will you marry me? Oh my God. Oh my God. 
Like you're proposing. Okay, you're surprised. Of course I'm surprised. I thought you were breaking up with me. By offering you a ring? Well, you just, you seem so serious. Yeah, of course I'm serious. This is the most serious thing I've ever done. Oh, God. <laughs> so that's a yes? No, wait. No. No, 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 not, not no. So yes. Um. Not yes? No, not, not yes. I, I, it, you do know how this works, right? There's something that I have to tell you. I got the job. In D.C.? Castle, I love you. But this is my shot. If I don't do this, I'll always regret it. Look, if this changes anything for you, if this changes the way that you feel... Kate, I'm not proposing to you to keep you here. Or because I'm afraid I'm gonna lose you. I'm proposing because I can't imagine my life without you. If that means when things get difficult, we have to figure them out, then I'm willing to figure them out. Assuming you're willing to figure them out with me. Well, in that case, Richard Edgar Alexander Rogers Castle, yes. Yes. I will marry you. Hey, Castle. Yeah, I'm gonna put you on speakerphone so you can weigh in on this. Weigh in on what? Well, we're in the morgue with Lainey trying to figure out who Beckett's boyfriend is. I have nothing to do with this nonsense. Yeah, until you're bagging their mangled bodies when Beckett finds out. <laughs> like we're afraid of Beckett. <laughs> Besides, how's she gonna find out? Anyway, I need your guys' help. There has been a homicide out here in the Hamptons in my backyard. Seriously, Castle? What, you in, in an episode of Murder, She Wrote? <laughs> More like Murder, He Wrote. But unfortunately, unlike Jessica Fletcher, the local police chief, not a friend of mine. And I think he may have the wrong guy. So I need you guys to question the victim's wife in the city, find out what she knows. Mm, that's a pretty big favor to ask, Castle. We're going to need something in return. The Ferrari. For a week each. Seriously, guys? Mm. What does that matter? Hey, hey, I'll ask the questions here, pal. Are you telling me that Richard Castle brought his girlfriend in your interrogation? Yeah. What was her name? I don't remember. Well, then describe her. Describe her, Lerner! Wow! Okay, tall, uh, medium-length hair. What's this about? What, what color? Give, give me a hair color. Uh, uh, brown. Brown. Brown eyes, too, I think. Really pretty. Body type? Awesome. I mean, awesome. She was, like, thin, gorgeous. She was hot. She was really hot. Kate! Name was Kate. Son. Aaron Lerner. Air, uh, so you interrogated Aaron Lerner, too? Yeah, he's back in the city. Turns out he was Franklin's partner in crime. Wow. What do you know? You still there, Castle? Yeah, still here. Uh, what else did Aaron Lerner say? Did he say anything else about anything else? Oh, you know, usual, I didn't do it. You got the wrong guy. I'm pretty sure he told me everything he knows. Everything, huh? That's good. Yeah. Good luck with the writing. Thanks. And a new diaper. Uh, all right, switch. Yeah. Here. OK. Wipes. Lotion. Diaper. Onesie. And victory. You've done it. All right. You hold him. Okay, got her. Here we go. I'll take care of Luz. Okay. Uncle Rick's pretty funny, huh? I think you're pretty funny, too. Uh. What? Nothing. All right. Now all we have to do is get him to sleep. I think we're just getting started. 